joining me for this episode of Restaurant at Home, where today we're going to cut up some melons. I'm going to show you an easy way to cut them. You can store them and enjoy them for later. Perfect time to go to your local farmer's markets, pick up some melons, and I'm going to cut up some here for you. I've got a cantaloupe and I've got a watermelon. Cantaloupe. Let's cut this bad boy open. Good lord. Now I've already taken the cantaloupe and washed it with warm soapy water. These melons, they actually grow on the ground, so it's a good idea to actually wash with warm soapy water and then dry them. Make sure that your melon is dry before you actually start cutting. And for the cantaloupe, you take a little bit off the end here. stand it up. A good way to hold your knife is not actually by the handle. You want to grip the back end of the blade, making sure you're cutting away from you, and you want to take the skin off. Now also in this video I cut a watermelon you can cut a watermelon in this way, just to make sure that you have a decent knife to cut with and take your time. Go ahead and cut this bad boy in half. Now inside you wanna scoop out not so delicious stuff, the seeds and membranes and stuff. All right, so now I'm ready to cut my watermelon. Ugh. I've already cut it in half, which is what you want to do. And now let's check out how to cut it the rest of the way. All right, so now we've got this massive watermelon. And I'm gonna turn it face down. See how it doesn't actually fit on my cutting board this way. I'm gonna turn it a little catty corner. And what you want to do Go ahead and slice it down the middle one more time after you already have it cut in half. So you want to try and get it as even as possible. I didn't get it that even. And if you're having a party, kind of innovatively set this up. So bow. Ta-da! We 
have our melon. We already have cut into a nice triangular piece. And we're gonna start cutting the edge off. All right, hey, before you go, I'd love for you to do me a favor. Go search on Facebook, and there's another project that I'm involved in. Uh, it's called Uplifting Words. So if you just go to Facebook, search for Uplifting Words, you'll see the, the logo of like a silhouette of a man reaching towards the sun. Uplifting Words is where I drop nuggets of motivation, inspiration, and encouragement on a daily basis. I also have a podcast that I'm trying to work out there as well. So if you could do me a huge favor, go on to Facebook, look up Uplifting Words, drop me a like, drop me the thumbs up. And on this video, subscribe if you want more content. Go ahead and click the thumbs up and like this video as well. And click the bell notification so that you'll be notified every time that I post a new video. So thank you very much. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one.